Hey guys, it's Haley. So welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't filmed a video in actually quite a while, even though I uploaded recently. That was some footage I just had rolling around on my phone and I'm actually super excited to be filming again. So, um, I don't really have an excuse for why I've been absent or haven't been filming at least. Besides that, I started watching Dexter pretty recently and I've been told to watch this show for years now and just never got around to it. And now I'm like, Haley, you are an idiot. I'm so hooked on this damn show that I feel like my life is like on pause. That's all I think about doing is watching this goddamn show. So I'm actually kind of excited to be done with it just because my sleep schedule is really, really messed up from me staying up watching Dexter all night. So without that in the way, maybe I'll be able to get more done. Um, also, I don't know if you guys already noticed it, but I got my septum pierced last week and I'm excited. It doesn't even begin to describe what I feel. I feel it kind of complete. I know it's really silly that a little hoop through my damn septum could make me feel complete, but I've wanted this piercing, no exaggeration, since I was 11 years old. So it only took 10 years to get it, but I just kind of feel like, oh, it, it actually happened. So I like it even more than I thought I would. And I definitely wanted to incorporate it into this video, even though it's kind of hard to miss a damn bowl ring through my nose, but I love it. So this video is actually going to be a haul, like a, not even like clothes, it's a lot of things haul. So also if you just heard my dog hack in the background, that's what my life is like. My dogs are quiet and then whenever I start filming, they decide to make gross noises. But um, anyways... This is a haul of many different things from many different stores. So I'm going to do it by store or place that I got the things from. So the first items are from the Renaissance Festival. I went to that about a month back. And if you don't know what the Renaissance Festival is, do yourself a favor and actually look it up if you're into like um, medieval times or anything like that. I really think you would like this. Um... I've gone to it since I was a kid and my dad and I, we used to go every year, but we actually stopped going for a while just because a lot of stuff kind of got in the way. So this was our first year going in forever and we were stoked. I was, it's like, it sounds weird, but it just feels so welcoming there and it kind of just feels like home and I love it. So when I say medieval times, I mean like knights and kings and pirates and stuff like that. My dad and I actually dressed up like pirates, which made it more fun. We've never dressed up to go. And don't get me wrong, most people there looked a lot cooler than we did. Like, they went all out on the costumes. And we, like, we tried. We did. But we also went with, like, more affordable options for things. So, um, it was still a lot of fun dressing up. And that being said, I know I'm going on this big tangent about it. But like I said, look it up if you don't know what it is. Um... It's a marketplace, so they sell lots of different things that you wouldn't find every day. So I got some really cool stuff from there, too, that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I posted pictures on my Instagram, stuff like that, of, like, my outfit. So if you haven't already seen it, go take a look at that. That was a lot of fun. But, um, so some of the stuff I got from there, number one, is this little necklace. So this is a little pentacle. Um, you can't really see it very well. I love this thing because it looks like it's made of like twigs or tree branches which makes it look amazing and it was only 15 bucks which there's way cooler not cooler there's way less cool of necklaces that are way more expensive than that so I was really stoked on that and then my dad got me this little it's like a little blue stone it looks black on camera but maybe if I move it around it'll look blue more um it's a stone and it has thorns and roses wrapping all around it and it's super super beautiful my dad actually used to buy me a lot of jewelry from there and over just moving and stuff like that or just some of it breaking I lost all of it so this meant a lot to me that he got me a new necklace from there um so yeah super beautiful I got this ring that I'll take it off to show you you can't really see it it's just a little purple ring but it's really pretty. So I got that. And then I got these. Where are they? I got these crystals. They're tiny little crystals. I got four of them. One of them's on my windowsill. So I'm only going to show you three of them. 
but they're kind of just different shapes and sizes and I thought they'd look really good uh, next to my crystal balls and just my occult type of stuff. I'm trying to think, I feel like I'm definitely skipping some stuff I got from there. I got some little ear cuffs, but they're really small and you're not going to be able to see them on camera, so I'm not really going to show them. But just, you know, you guys probably know what an ear cuff is. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a little piece of metal or whatever that clips on your ear. Really feel like I'm missing some. Oh, the last thing I got from the Renaissance was this crystal ball. I have an obsession with crystal balls. I've mentioned this before. I think everyone on the planet knows this by now. I have a tattoo of one for Christ's sake. Um, so they had this there and I couldn't say no to it. This was only $7, which is super affordable for a crystal ball. I have four of them, five, including like a mini one, I guess, if you want to count that. And most of them range from like 50 to $70. So only paying, what did I say? Seven, seven or eight, whatever it was. That's really cheap. So I was really excited for that. So the next store I actually found last week, it is this little witchy type of shop that is incredible and it's pretty close by me. So I, I forgot the name of it completely. I always forget the goddamn name of it. So if you live in Denver and you're curious what it is, message me and I'll like look it up or something. But I got this little crystal, well not little, it's way bigger than my other ones. My dad actually got me this and again, it's going to look really nice next to my other ones and my crystal balls. Then I got these little tiny tarot cards or tarot cards, whatever. A lot of people call them tarot cards, but I don't know why I even said that. Um, they're actual tarot cards. They're really, really cute. They like have all the, you can't really see them, but see how cute they are. I'm in love with them. So I couldn't help myself. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy them. So I got those. Like I said, everything I'm listing until I say otherwise is from that same store. I got this prayer candle that has Robert Smith on it. I, I died when I saw this. This is the most precious thing I've ever seen. So it says St. Robert. It has little lipsticks on the side. And I actually debated, do I need this? And Adrian's like, why would you not get that? So I love it. It looks really cute next to all my music stuff. Like I have a little music shelf and I just put it up there and it kind of completes the shelf. The thing I was the most excited for. Oh my God. I lost the piece for it. Okay. Found it. I've had this board for literally like a couple days and I already lost something to it, but it's all good. I found it. I got this beautiful wooden Ouija board. It's actually made of wood and I'm going to put it a little closer so you can see it. Look how gorgeous that is. So it has all these flower little detailings on the side. It has a death moth at the top, which I am super, super into. That's really cute. And it's just super, super beautiful. I couldn't resist it. So I got that and then I bought the planchette, which was sold separately, but I'm not going to buy this without it. So again, actually made of wood. Super, super beautiful. It has these little, it looks like they're trees and this thing in the middle. So I'm completely obsessed with this. This is probably my favorite thing in the video. So, so beautiful. And I need to actually kind of rearrange some things in my room so I have a good place for it because that is definitely worthy of a nice place in my room. Also, my hair is just being more stubborn than usual, so it's going to get moved around a lot. The next things, I like how you can just see stuff by me and me grabbing it, but I didn't want to have to get up, obviously, so everything's next to me. I had to support my boys and escape the fate, you already know. So they did this really cool vault sale where they, number one, a lot of things were really affordable. And then if you bought something, it would include, like some of them would include one mystery item or three mystery items. But point is this was, um, it came with one mystery item and it was only $20 for a hoodie, which is really affordable. And this is really cute. It just says escape the fate and it looks like it's in blood or whatever. I just liked this cause it looks really old school, like UTF. I don't know. I love it. So I got that and $20 for a hoodie. 
like I'd be an idiot not to order it. And I was really stoked on the surprise or mystery thing, mystery item. I got this shirt that says Escape the Fate. And again, this looks really old school too, even though it's not. It has a little scale and everything, so you can tell it's from I Am Human. But I love this shirt. It is so cute. They actually had it on one of their tours that didn't come here. So what a surprise that I actually got a shirt I would never be able to own otherwise. I'm having hiccups, I'm sorry. Anyways, but loved that. I actually ordered another bundle from their vault about month and a half maybe two months ago it was a while ago so I'm not going to include that one because I want to keep all this stuff like pretty recent the next items are from Killstar I already said yeah those are from the Escape the Fate alt so um anyways these items are from Killstar so this you're going to be like it's a black shirt who cares it is actually really cute number one it's off the shoulder which I love off the shoulder shirts those are my favorites and then it has this little tie up back kind of corset looking thing that I am in love with and it just fits really well. A lot of my shirts are just entirely too big on me and I like having a shirt that fits me tight and nice so love that. I actually just got this in the mail yesterday from Killstar again. It's this little tank top thing. A lot of people kind of said it looks like a corset. I mean it's not a corset but it's very cute and again it fits really good and tight. So I'm in love with it. I like that it has these little, almost like for a garter or whatever, kind of at the end. I don't really know, but I just like little details like this on clothes. I feel like it makes it so much cuter. And of course it has the little moon zipper. So I love it. They actually had a gray plaid version of that, that I was really torn between. I was on the fence, like, which one do I want? And Adrian's like, get the black one. It's way cuter. And now I'm going to be making another order to Killstar because I like that one so much that I think I need the gray plaid one as well. These two were very pricey items, but I love purses a lot. Like I am that type of girl that I have to have a purse anywhere I go. I can't go anywhere without a purse. That being said, I also break them quite easily because I will carry the same one for months on end. And I was like, you know what? I need more purses. So... I just went ahead and treated myself and got this really cute strappy leather bag. It's very, I don't know, this is me just because I love anything with O-rings and stuff on it. So this screamed my name and I could not resist getting this. The only problem I have with it is it is a little too big, which takes a lot for me to say because I love huge purses. Like I do. I have a lot of stuff to carry, but this it's a little too big, but... I'll make it work. Um, I'm sure it'll be great for sneaking snacks into the movie theater or something. I'm just kidding. Watch someone from a movie theater be watching them. They're like, or watching this video, I mean. Did you guys hear that? One of my dogs just jumped. I don't know. Then I got this bag. It has a little bat on it. It says Killstar on the bat. And it's like velvet felt material. And I love any purses with this little coin purse type of closure. I think that's really, really cute. Both of these purses were, I think, $52. So, again, they're pricey items, but for a purse, that's not that bad. I mean, I know there's people that spend like $400 on a coach bag. So, this really isn't anything compared to that. But super super cute purse is really good material and just very very worth it to me i like stuff like this a lot so like i said entirely worth it so then i got this jacket actually from target so this is just a leather jacket but the reason i got this i have a lot of leather jackets that are more expensive and I have been wanting to put pins on a leather jacket but I didn't want to risk ruining my more pricey leather jackets. Actually I should disclose they are all vegan leather, they're all faux leather but still pricey nevertheless so I didn't want to ruin them and put holes in them so I was like what is the solution to this? I'll get a more affordable one and this is really really cute. So number one it has this little belt around the waist of it which makes it 10 times cuter and I'll show you the little pins I put on it 
So already really loving that. It's really cute. And again, that was just from Target. I believe that was 35, which for a leather jacket is pretty darn affordable. Also, I've been definitely skipping prices for some things I'm realizing. So if you have a question about the price of something, ask me. Um, I know both those Killstar tops I showed were about $39 or $40. So um, anything else you guys are curious about, ask me because I'm forgetting stuff already. So I got this adorable notebook. If you guys have seen Beetlejuice, you will recognize what this is from right away. I got this from the Alamo Theater. So actually a movie theater. But I was like, this will look perfect on my horror shelf. It does have this little strap. Thing that I just keep tucked behind it because I want it to look more authentic like the actual handbook for the recently deceased but this was a really good find really like this I don't even know if I'm gonna use it for actual like notes or note taking anything like that I think I'm just gonna keep it for my shelf but again super cute and then the last item actually let me get it last item is the big item here so I have been wanting a pair of creepers for about four years now, and I just, number one, I didn't know where to get them. Number two, I didn't know if I wanted to risk spending that much money not liking them and then just sizing all those complications, but I finally bit the bullet and did it. So these are from TUK Footwear, and they were $100, which I want to say that's expensive, but... People pay that much for shoes, you know, like people that wear Nike pay that if not more. So, and their shoes, like I, I used to not buy myself shoes ever. I would wear the same damn pair of like Steve Madden combat boots until they were breaking. And recently I realized I need to stop doing that because that's why my shoes work out so easily is because I wear the same ones every day. So the past few months I've kind of gotten a shoe addiction going on, but these are just the little platform faux leather ones. I'm obsessed with them. They are the cutest things ever. And also for shows, you're going to catch me for sure rocking these because look at that platform. That'll give me some height. I'm only 5'2 and I can never see anything. So that also helped me go for it. Like I was like, just buy them. You can wear them to shows and they're adorable. So that is the last thing in the haul. I feel like this haul is getting really long, but I had a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, I hope this was pretty interesting. I feel like this is stuff you don't find like everywhere and in everyday life. So I thought it would be somewhat of an interesting haul. But like I said, actually, I don't even know if I did mention this. I've refilmed this video, so I know I mentioned it in my last one. I was thinking of redoing a room tour because I've changed my room a tiny bit and I've also gotten new additions to my room. So let me know if that is something you'd be interested in, new room tour, anything like that. And let me know any other videos you want to see on this channel. And before I make this video into 20 minutes, I am going to end it. So have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. I love you guys so much always and I will see you on the next one. Bye!